Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the cartilage from the ears of any canine. I'm going to do a red fox today. I have one of each. I have a gray on this side and a red fox here. But uh, I started removing the cartilage, and I know a lot of guys do this online. And I wanted to show you why before I show you how. You can see when these come back, if you remove the cartilage, how soft this is. And you could always rehydrate this and then pin them or card them. And then, you know, you could stick them up or do whatever you want. But you can see if you leave the cartilage in, there's two issues. One, you run the risk of slippage, which did not happen on this ear. I mean, it's really nice on the back. But what happens when you leave the cartilage in, as it dries after the tanning process, it gets all crusty. And I sent these out, so when I got them back, this is what they look like. But it gets all hard and misshaped, and I mean, it still sticks up and it looks okay. But I think it's much nicer with the, uh, with the soft garment tanned ears so that it's nice and pliable like the, like the rest of the fox. So I'm going to show you how to do that here in a couple minutes, so just stay tuned and we'll get right back to it. All right, I'm ready to go here. I'm going to do this in real speed, no weird music. And I might talk a little bit about what I'm doing here. There's a couple of tricky spots. And you can see I've already done this ear. So you can see I kind of took all of the muscle and extra tissue all the way up around the ear butt and all of the cartilage is gone. So I got this nice floppy ear and when it dries all that hair is going to stay right in there. So we just got to do it on this side. Now all I'm going to use, I got my number three handle here with a number 11 blade and I'm positive you could do this with a with a 10 or maybe a 23. I just like the control of this and I like that ultra sharp small point. And I'm just going to use real light pressure and the reason I'm showing you this is I know, you know, don't beat me up in the comments. I know there's lots of guys out there that show you how to remove the cartilage from the ear, but I haven't been able to find a video that shows you how to get to that point before you can just peel it out with pliers, and I'm just going to use my fingers because fox skin is very, very thin. Now, here's what you can see here. There's the ear butt right there. We've got this big muscle coming up behind the eye. I'm going to remove all of that, and then there's a little tricky spot where the fur kind of overlaps a little bit and you got to separate it and again with anything on the internet I've been doing this a very long time I've done a bunch of foxes already this season so like I already got a feel for how much pressure so you're not going to be able to appreciate that when you're watching it but I think what you can see is one you'll be able to see me find the edges of the skin and then I'll show you how to remove the cartilage so I'm gonna start right here where there's this big piece of fat is and you always need a little bit of borax for some grip. I mean, it'll definitely save your fingers and keep you from cutting yourself. So again, in real time, I'm just going to remove this cartilage. I'm going to start back here and just get this piece of fat. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing away with my pinky and pulling with my thumb and just very light pressure. And I can roll all of that connective tissue back under my finger. And you can see it comes all the way back to here as I approach the eye. So I'm going to come back here and get a little bit of this again, just barely touching the skin to separate this and you'll just you'll just see it roll back as you work and there's only one way to figure this out and that's to get in there mix it up and uh, you're gonna run the risk of cutting a few holes but again this is just a wall hanger I'm not I'm not doing full taxidermy on this you know this is a, a great way to keep a lot of trophies and save some money okay now I'm gonna come up underneath the eye here and there's that big muscle right there so I start right above the eye, and I'm just going to pull that back. I'm not worried about that extra eye skin there. I'm just trying to get this ear out for now. And I'm just rolling that whole piece. And it'll be real nice once I get it going here. And you'll see me keep jumping around as I'm looking for the edge of the skin. And I'll make sure I keep turning that so you can see it on the screen there. So that muscle line's right about there. So I'm just going to very gently get it started. And I'm just doing a tiny little bit at a time. Just touching it where the white connected tissue is showing up. Like this is a really easy place to cut a hole if you're not careful coming around this edge right here. So just kind of, you'll see that tissue. I'm just barely touching. All right. 
And that trick, there's a tricky spot right underneath this piece of uh, meat and uh, cartilage. When I get there, I'll slow down and and all I'm trying to do is get this reflected back so I can get that cartilage cut right where it ends. Definitely see that on there. And again, you'll get a feel for where the skin ends. There it is. And again, there's a little bit of connective tissue right here, so I'm just gonna just get some of that. Save the trouble later. Right down here and find out where this is. All right, here's the tricky spot right here. We got a little bit of muscle there, and we got a little bit more here, and it's going to come together in a V, and you're going to have to work that apart. That's probably the toughest spot. And my hot water tank comes on. Beautiful. The nature of the beast working in your basement. So again, I'm looking for the edge. A little bit of connective tissue right there. There's the edge of the skin. There's the cartilage right there. You can kind of see that bluish color. And I'm just gonna need a little bit more. Anytime your finger starts slipping, just put a little bit more borax on there, and this will start coming apart. There it is. And again, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna keep working both sides of this little tricky spot. And it's always that side right behind the ear. The noises in my basement right now. There it is. You can see that's muscle right there. That's the skin that's going to overlap. So I'm going to bring that a little bit more from this side. You just saw it release. All right now I should be able to show you. You got a V right there, and then another one coming off the back. And you'll have to keep working this out until that muscle tissue is all the way out. And be careful, this is the front of the ear, so if you come down here too far, we're going to put a big gouging hole in it. That's right at the front of the ear, right here. So I'm going to flip to this side. And this will just keep working free. Just keep stretching it out with your finger. And if you're doing taxidermy, this all has to come out of here too, so it's good practice. My wife comes down, I'll hit pause and I'll come right back into this. There you go, you can see I'm getting close, getting that all out of there. And eventually it's just gonna roll. So you can see I'm putting a lot of pressure right there. You get a little bit of a lot of pressure right there. And that'll keep just keep coming right off that the main cartilage. There it is. Work it back this way. And then I'm going to work it back this way. I'm almost there. There it goes. 
And what will happen is that cartilage will flatten out. There it goes. We're going to pull that all out of there anyway. So there's that little piece of meat still sitting there. And I can just run this right back now. There's a little piece of cartilage right there. Whammo. And that's all flattened out. Okay, now I'm just going to run around the ear here. Certainly flip this around. Okay, there's, again, this is all feel, but I know that edge of that skin's right there. So if I just gently touch it, it'll start rolling back. There it goes. And again, just going to take it all the way down. The whole thing was. One other tricky spot, and hopefully this will show up on camera. Sorry. And you're fleshing up the ear, right here. Can you see that color change? I think you can. There's going to be a color change in a little bubble right there. If I invert this ear, let me show you what that is. On all canines, and if you've done this before, you know what I'm talking about. There is a little flat. Where you at, buddy? There it is. This one's kind of closed. There's a little flap on all canines right there. You can see how that opens up. This one's a little damaged from ticks. But there's a little flap right there. So when this ear is inverted, and you're doing this skinning, and you pull that real tight, my advice is don't skin the whole way. Just I'd say get it about halfway loose because there's still cartilage under there. And then we're just going to peel that off with our thumb. Oh, now you can definitely see that. Oh, you can really see that edge. That's that little bubble starting to invert. That's all I'm going to do right there. I don't want to do more than half of it. And I'm just getting this ear nice and loose, getting it fully inverted, especially down here where that weird spot is. Okay. Now that I got it that far, I'm going to lay it down and right where the front of the ear is, I'm going to follow that. I'm just going to cut straight down onto my table and then go straight over onto my table and then the whole bottom of that earbud is going to come off. There it is. I'm going to throw it out of the way. Now every video I've seen is already to that point and then it's easy to take the cartilage out now because you're already there. Now here's what I do. Let's go to that bubble piece right there. I'm going to take my scalpel. Take my scalpel. Don't cut your fingers. I'm going to follow the line of cartilage right down to that bubble. Just like that. Okay? Then I'm going to take it over here. And then you can see the line of the cartilage right there. So I'm just going to do the same thing. And I'm going to go right down to where cartilage is. Now, I got this whole big wide flap. Now you can really loosen it up. Get a little grip. I'm just going to loosen a little bit more skin. And now I'm going to be done here in about 30 seconds. Now this next part, again, takes some practice and some courage. Because you're going to have to peel this off. A lot of guys will use pliers, but I don't like to do that. Because every time I do that with a fox ear, it tears. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the ear back through that hole. So I have the whole ear out. See it? Now what I'm going to do is I don't want to do that bubble side first. I always do the other side. Now there's the edge of the cartilage right there. So I'm going to stick my thumb in that cartilage. Okay, I'm going to pull. Let me get a little bit of leverage. I'm going to pull this way with my fingers. And I'm going to push out towards the edge and you can see the black edge of that ear right there and I'm going to separate it right where and it'll just it'll gently start tearing and that's what we want you can see I'm tearing right on the black line use your thumb and you just want to run your thumb and scrape it not too much pressure nice and even if you get hung up you can see there's a little bit of connective tissue hanging me up right here just come back with your scalpel or your knife just do a nice little incision there 
Now, this bubble can be tricky. Sometimes I tear it, sometimes I don't, okay? What I'm gonna do is try to overrun and peel that bubble right off of there. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? So again, I wanna, I wanna aim right for that line. And you can see this here has a little tear, so I do not know how it's gonna go. There's a little tear right there. So I'm gonna try to separate this front side first. So here we go. Again, now I got the cartilage on the left, and I'm gonna thumb this cartilage right off. Oh, it came pretty nice that time. There it is. Now, I got a little tear because of the in, because of that little cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work it from the other side. And you'll have to you'll have to practice this. Just work it back out to the edge from the other side. You can see I'm just pushing with my thumb, supporting with the other hand. It'll tear off right on the black line. Again, I'm hung up. He figures anytime I do a video, you're always gonna experience issues that don't normally happen. There's a little band of connect tissue keeps hanging me up. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep working my way back out to the edge. Right where I had that little rip, I'm, I'm doing that with my thumb right here. You can see I'm working towards the edge again. Oh, there it went, so it's good. Okay, so I'm just pushing with my thumb, supporting with the other hand. And don't assume you can just rip when you get close to the edge, because you can't. I'm telling you it'll tear, and then the whole top half of your ear will be gone when you get your fur back from the fur ear. Again, I got that same middle piece of connective tissue killing me right now. There we go. I'm almost done. What you're gonna see here is, I'm gonna have a little bit of a mistake because of that cut, but now I have the entire black part of the ear right there. Now that's where that cut was, so what I'll do with this ear is I'm just gonna take my scissors and that little piece that was injured, I'm gonna pull that off and it's still gonna be a really nice product when it comes back. But there's nothing you can do when the, you can see that cartilage is split right there. But that is how I remove the muscle tissue and cartilage from the ear of any canine. I mean, a coyote's the same way, just a little bit more work because it's bigger. But then you'll have a nice product when it comes back. You can see I have two good ears right there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help out in any way I can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.